Evan, do you know what time uh, it is? Uh, I do know what time it is. I don't know why yeah. I hired you. What are you doing? In fact, it's over a 99% probability. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. What is it? There's a meteor hitting towards Earth in 10 days. What? What's the speed of the trajectory? It's, it's traveling over 7 million miles an hour, accelerating. What? Toward us? Uh, towards the gravitational pull of our sun. How did you find it? Uh, luckily, I have a spectroscopic osmium reading. Uh, it's just, it's off the charts. Oh, wait there. Wait here. Yeah, yeah, let me figure this out. Kitsis? Yeah. Be advised, target is secure. What are you doing here? Who do you think pays for all this stuff? <sighs> I don't want to pry, Chase. Good, thank you. All right, you win. No conversation. Taking one for the team, huh? Mm. Action, my friend. No. That. No. That speaks louder Rudy, than words. Rudy. Rudy. Damn. 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 Mm. As awful and annoying as this song is in English, who knew it would be so good in Chinese? It's Korean. Well, I assure you, miss, I am not here to molest you in any way. 
My butt would not dare warm a seat beside yours normally, but I am here on a mission of mercy. You see that uh, sailor, that lonely sailor over there? You know, I'm having a really bad week. Well, no, that's good. Uh, that's really good. You see, my friend, he is terrible company. I, actually, he's downright dull. Chase, uh, what's your name? Marisa. Come meet Marisa. He's terrible company, but you're in a terrible mood, so you're all set. It's not like he can bring you down. Hi. Sorry about my friend, he... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. There's no need to apologize. I've already warned her how dull you can be. Thanks. Marissa, this is my friend Chase. Chase, this is Marissa. It was a pleasure meeting you, Marissa. Oh, and by the way, she is having a terrible week. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry about all that. Um, so what's the matter with your week? Ugh, oh, you wouldn't understand. Because I'm stupid or insensitive? <sighs> Fine. I'm a deep sea geophysicist tasked with mapping the Yap Trench, but I can't right now. Because of subductal instability due to the reactivation of the Saipan volcano. Took rocks for jocks in college. <laughs> well. This is Masterson, Mayday. We've got a shitstorm down here. U.S. Stratcom. This is Masterson, Mayday. Damn! Things not working. Interference in the ionosphere. You really think these reinforcements are gonna hold up? I hope so, honey. Identify yourself. Major Sarah. Opening the door. Sir? Are you and your wife okay? Yes. Here's the situation. I expected as much. Marie? I know the deal. Charge, sir? I'm General Jim Masterson, and you are? I'm uh, Evan Kitsia, sir. I'm the Q4 tech intern. I uh, discovered the meteor. That's fine work, son. Planet owes you a debt. Uh, thanks. Uh, you can call me Telly. 
Um, I wanted to talk to you about the interdiction meteor. That's exactly what I'm attempting to now. Excuse me. Did I not tell you that was the ball? You got this. Oh. Sir? Sir? We have a minute and a half before the launch of those ICBMs. Rockets traveling 100,000 kilometers per hour with 58 megaton water packages? You're throwing pebbles at a tank, sir. Let's hope you miss so you don't cause any damage. You're one precocious young man. Major. Guard. I can show you the simulation, sir. I have a plan. It'll work. You can't deflect it. You can't destroy it. Sir, leave the land. Have you all received the timing for a coordinated meteor interdiction? We reiterate our objection to deflection. Your little friend is right. That asteroid cannot be turned. The second guessing is ludicrous. It's rather late in the game. This launch sequence is the only way for us to synchronize the delivery of our nuclear resources, Sergei. What are you proposing? We will destroy it. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that's not going to work. Deflection is the only answer. Uh, we believe only chance is to destroy a meteor. Uh, how do you say, uh, we agree to disagree. We will in no way interrupt your plans. But the Russian Federation reserves the right to defend itself. Masterson, Jiangjin, Li Zhang General Masterson, what will you do? The United States Space Weapons Command will stay the course. Thank you, gentlemen. Major, where'd they put that kid? This way, sir. Give me a moment, gentlemen. You too, Major. Yes, sir. How did you know the tonnage of our weapons? Uh, Google, sir. Of course. And what makes you think the deflection will be unsuccessful? Physics, sir. Oh, so you're a part-time physicist now, is that it? Uh, I built a uh, nuclear fusion reactor in uh, my garage freshman year, high hmm. school. Fueled on kerosene or paint? Uh, deuterium. Uh, I was even manufacturing a yellow cake until my mom made me stop. Why? It's all just uh, physics, sir. <clears throat> that asteroid of uh, unknown composition has a diameter one fourth the moon and probably a mass of 0.4 percent of the Earth. There's no physical way to stop that with just five nuclear missiles or five thousand nuclear missiles. It's not possible in our solar system. You don't think I know that, son? Now you said you had a simulation I could watch. What's your plan, C? Move the planet. Excuse me? Move the Earth. You just said the Earth has a mass 5,000 times greater than the asteroid. That would take millions of nuclear detonations to even budget. Well, uh, over a trillion, actually. Um, but maybe just a few at the right place. For example, the intersection of four tectonic plates sending off multiple seismic events aggregating to over 18 on the Richter scale. And where do you propose this? On Yap Church, the Ring of Fire. Earthquakes. Do you uh, still find me precocious, sir? Okay, you guys, here you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Must I get quadruple? <laughs> so wait a minute. You're telling me that you're the guy with his finger on the butt. Shh. <laughs> you're not supposed to shout that out in a bar. No. And as XO, it's more of a, a key, really. 
Rudy's on weapons now, so he's got his finger on the button. Yeah. Rudy's got his finger we on the button. We're all in down, danger. You? We're chatting about national security here. The U wires might be listening. <laughs> What's a U wire? It's an inside joke that isn't funny. Rudy warned you I'm dull, right? Yeah. <sighs> well. Yeah, I guess it's getting late. Well, well you uh. You don't have to go home, but she can't stay here. Is that some sort of invitation? No. Well, the MPs are guarding my place in some sort of joint forces arrangement, but uh, I could see you home. See me home? Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> wow, it wow. is late. It's so late, it's early. <laughs> I feel good. Are you for real? You tell me. Scared. Oh, I'm terrified. You should be. Yeah. It could be a foreign agent or a congressional investigator, or it could be. It's Marissa Knox! Gunnery Sergeant Luis Uniga, military police from Corps Haven Naval Base. I'm here to escort you to the USS Polk. That's my sub. Commander? Steady your weapon, Gunny. I apologize, sir. Miss Knox has to come with us. I'm not gonna do anything. Under whose orders are you acting? Orders come directly from Air Force Chief of Staff General Masterson's command. We better go. Miss Knox, please. Now, Gunny. Excuse me! What are you doing with my HROV? Krauss? Well, that's nice to see you, Commander. What the hell are your A-gangers doing here? We're, uh, voiding the manufacturer's warranty, if you ask me. Don't take my word for it. Ask the skipper. You can't do this. This is my mini sub. <laughs> Welcome to the Navy, ma'am. You'll excuse me, Commander. The captain is waiting for you on board, Commander. Miss Knox? Knox, have you two met? Oh. Ms. Knox, on behalf of the Department of Defense, I apologize. I wish I could tell you why you were here, but I can't. I simply don't know. So, I suggest we call Keck and see if General Masterson can explain it. Warrant. USS Polk for Keck Observatory, come in. Stand by. So we have a connection, bringing it up now. Is this working on its own now? Yes, sir. I'd appreciate it if you wait for us in the hall. Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I'm Major Sarah. Please hold for Jim Masterson, Air Force Chief of Staff with oversight of U.S. Stratcom, United States Strategic Command. General. Thank you, Major. We're under extraordinary circumstances, so let's skip with the pleasantries. I'm kind of in an awkward situation, as none of you have the security clearance for the briefing I wish beyond measure I didn't have to give. So I must insist on your word that this remains classified. No one may know, not even on the bulk. Captain? Yes, sir. Commander? Yes, sir. Miss Knox? General, I was dragged here against my will under some very suspicious circumstances. I'd like a little bit of information before I give you my word on anything. Then I'll rely on your good sense, Miss Knox. Telling? It's uh, pretty straightforward, really. Um, an asteroid is eight days and four hours from impacting the Earth. How large an asteroid? Uh, good question. Based on the orbital deviations in its path and its gravitation influence, I'd probably say at least 200 miles wide. Is that big for an asteroid? I mean, it sounds pretty big. 66 million years ago, an asteroid impacted Earth on the Yucatan Peninsula. It was about six miles wide. And it killed the dinosaurs. General, have we launched interceptors to deflect or destroy it? Air Force Global Strike Command, along with other nuclear powers, has launched an interdiction effort. It will most certainly fail. Who are you, Tally? I'm the Keck intern. Discovered the meteor. Continue, Tully. The asteroid is uh, effectively impossible to move with the tools and time at our disposal. So, uh, I uh, want us to move the Earth instead. What exactly are you suggesting? Well, that's why you're here. Uh, we set up earthquakes around the Pacific Ocean, generating a cumulative seismographic impact over 18 on the Richter scale just the right place at just the right time by the equator near sunset. That's over a trillion times more energy than any nuclear detonation you'll ever have. So it'll definitely move the Earth out of the asteroid's way. You want me to blow up the Yap Trench? No one else on that submarine. No one else on Palau. No one else on Woods Hole, Scripps, or even Jacques Cousteau's great-grandson knows more about Yap Trench than you do, Miss Knox. And no one knows how to operate that. HRLV. So I'm putting you in charge of the placement, timing, size, and detonation of the nuclear charges. Commander? Yes, sir. You once served as WEPS on uh, the Virginia, is that correct? Yes, sir. Lieutenant Rudy Marzek is WEPS on the Polk now, and he's a very capable man. That's good, because he'll be on shore guarding the two SLVMs we're offloading to make room for the HRLV. You will now answer to Miss Knox as weapons officer, Commander, in addition to your responsibilities as executive officer. Gentlemen, Miss Knox, please succeed. The Earth is depending on you. What he's suggesting could kill over 50% of the people on this planet. If the alternative is all of us, we don't really have a choice, do we? Let's get cracking. Sun and the moon are entering spring tide. And they're aligning on a straight line relative to Earth. And that's causing really powerful high and low tides. That's what the calendar tells me with the, the rest of it. The asteroid is also aligning with the sun and the moon. And it's way closer or bigger than we thought. Or well, both. Right, in addition to causing the floods and other weather-related disasters. I'm well aware of that, son. Um, the gravitational influence of the asteroid it also seems to be weakening Earth's cohesion, uh, increasing the probability of subductal slippage, meaning we'll have more earthquakes naturally. What's the delay, Lieutenant? Pardon me, sir. Did you just ask me what the delay is? We need to disembark before low tide. So yes, I'm asking what the delay is, Mr. Rouse. My men have had eight hours 
to do a six month retrofit that would have taken six years of testing in dry dock just to confirm that it was physically possible to do. Well, looks like you're doing a good job, Lieutenant, so carry on. It looks like my nephew wiped his dirty diaper all over my boat. Sir, I can't vouch for this work. Certainly not for you to go on a pleasure cruise with your girlfriend. We're lucky, Lieutenant. One day you'll feel like a jackass for saying that and we'll both laugh at it. In the meantime, secure whatever supplies you need to get this ship seaworthy to crush depth in 30 minutes. If you need to make modifications wet, do so, but we sail in 30. Aye, aye, sir. Sailor. Exo says it's good enough. But, sir, it's almost wired. Exo's always right, son. Pack it up. The missiles. I knew they'd want somebody if this thing went pear shaped. How long do you think before they pick the black guy? <laughs> Lieutenant? Commander? Hey. Yeah. You should call Terry. We're not speaking, remember? I'm phobic. Really? It's that bad? Yeah. What do we talk about? I don't know. Your, your feelings. It'll lighten the mood. Feelings. You know what? Watch my boat, Chase. And you watch my noose. <laughs> the USS Polk. This is Captain Rogers. Captain, it's now or never. We're 18 feet below normal. Make ready to get underway. Copy that. Cast off! Chief of the boat. Take us out. Aye, aye, Skipper. All right, guys. All ahead full. All hands below deck. Let's look. Let's go. Let's get it down below. Come on. All right, guys, move it out. Now. Explosion, no matter how big it is, isn't gonna do it. I'm more worried about no explosions. Remotely triggering warheads at the bottom of the trench. On the outside chance that we can load, deliver, unload, reboard, reload, and re-deliver and trigger two differently timed explosions all at once, no way. We need to puncture the protruding crust of the trench in order to pierce the asthenosphere and expose the Earth's core, and then with the secondary explosion, induce tectonic displacement. I can't manufacture time, Marissa. We won't make it. And I can't accept that, because this is the only way it's gonna work. You 
I started diving when I was probably 10 years old. I'm more comfortable underwater than I am on dry land. It's a whole world down there. These amazing creatures that manufacture life out of nothing. And now they're asking you to blow it up. I understand. And I know how hard this is for you. But we don't have to go up with the trench. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Just be right. Because that's the only thing that's going to make this okay. Fair enough. It was quick. Rudy? Terry? Long time no talk. Who else were you expecting? It's 3.30 in the morning. I wasn't expecting anybody. But what do you care? Man, I, I always care. All the time, you know that. Are you laughing at me? Good. Chase told me to tell you about my feelings. He said it would lighten the mood. Should I have sent you a, a Whitman sampler instead? That was Chase. Why aren't you with him? If you don't want to tell me... It's just... Whatever's going on sounds big. Look, maybe you should pack your bags and get out of town, okay? You, you can stay with my mom. You haven't lost your sense of humor. I gotta teach in the morning, man. I... I you know, I'm like, I can't abandon my kids. We've got finals. Rudy! Terry! I gotta go. What uh, is it, man? Take care, man. Rudy! I need everybody inside now! absorbs hundreds of them a year, we should be okay. And why are the radio transmitters on the warheads? And you don't care if I think you're still making a mistake. You can tell me afterwards. <laughs> All right, at least we can put a few miles between us and the explosion. Let's hope this works. What the hell was that? We've got a fire in the modified launch bay in tubes one and two. The welds must have shorted out the wiring. Comms. Sir, no response. I'm trying. Uh, we're getting an elevated Geiger counter in from the CRA as well. The reactor cooling system is down? No, sir. Launch bays one and two only. Go check one and two. Yes, sir. Two hundred and fifty millirads on the dosimeter. That's a year's worth of radiation. I thought you said it was safer down here than it is on the surface. It should be, unless there's W eighty eight aren't heat shielded. Unheat shielded missiles? Are you kidding me? The base of it isn't heat shielded. They wanted to reduce the weight. Case in the Trident 2, it isn't an issue, but the deuterium is forming irradiated helium. The missiles are reacting. The 
deuterium tritium trigger is starting to fuse in the heat. It's random, but it's accelerating. We gotta get these warheads into the water now. Chief of the boat, we have to flush the warheads. Sir, Exo Seward and Marissa Knox haven't reported in yet. But they transported four W88 warheads into a launch bay that's currently on fire. Yes, sir. Open the bay doors, Chief. We have to launch the HROV. Yes, sir. Sir. Open the bay doors. Failed to open, sir. Probably the electrical short. Lieutenant Rouse, is there anything you can do to prevent an accidental explosion aboard my sub? I can bypass the safety, sir. Do it. Yes, sir. 30 seconds, sir. That door. HOV launch successful, sir, but we lost the bay door. Thank you, Lieutenant. Sir, sonar shot. What are you talking about? How long will he be down? The boat is simply making too much noise. We also have been groaning, leaving an oral wake miles long, but now we're almost at a one-to-one -one signal to noise ratio. Sir, I can hardly hear anything. Understood. Do what you can. Yes, sir. Nap, full stop. Aye, aye, sir. If we're dead in the water, let's not stray from our destination. Comms, put me through on intercom, and let's get department communications back online. Yes, sir. True, this is the captain. With the apparent death at sea of XO Commander Chase Seward and civilian geophysicist Marissa Knox, I must violate a command order and reveal the reason for our mission. The Earth is on a collision course with an asteroid. And while Air Force and STRATCOM are attempting to deflect or destroy the asteroid, the USS Polk has been assigned to serve as a last line of defense. The plan from Air Force Chief Masterson is to detonate nuclear explosions in the Yap Trench. This will cause earthquakes over 18 on the Richter scale, big enough to move the Earth out of the path of the asteroid. This remains our job, and we have to find a way. I couldn't be the only one on board who knew the truth. So now we can all pull together and keep it together. Everyone in the world that you love depends on it. Over and out. What did you see out there, sir? That cannot be good. Buddy, let's go!
Order, Sergeant. Were all your men accounted for? Gunny! Yes, sir, we're all here, sir. Good. I need two details. One, to guard these missiles. The other, to retrieve the tools and insulated cases from the shelf that used to be in that corner over there. Tools and cases for what, sir? We're evacuating this disaster zone, okay? We're looking for a room with a view. And unless you can lift more than I realize, we're only taking the warheads with us. What's the matter? Huh? I thought they sent me Marines! Oorah! Copy that, sir. You heard the man! Double time! Let's go! Let's move out. Chief of the boat. Yes, sir. Status of ballistic missiles, 12 through 16. Missile Dex, this is the chief of the boat. What is the status of missiles 12 through 16? Launch ready? Affirmative. Sir, sir, sir! Look who I found. What do you want with my nukes? I'll be. <laughs> so on deck! As the room started to flood, the faulty welding also caused the magnetic doors to short long enough for us to get out. Comms, get me the ship. This is the captain. Exo Seward and Ms. Knox are very much alive and making a mess of my bridge. Over and out. Captain, we've got four live warheads on my HROV, and I need to find that mini-sub. FT, would you please? Comms. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. I need to replicate the boost signal on this transmitter. I'm not taking any chances activating the warheads. Aye, right, sir. General, we have the feed for the Russian rocket. We're receiving their signal. General, uh, we should have a good view of the explosions from number two. Sergey, what time is your point of contact? In the moment now. There, you see it? It's approaching too quickly. No, no. We just had over 100,000 kilometers on hour. Speed is right. Tell me, explain. Uh, it's the asteroid that's moving faster. The sun and the moon are pulling it closer, quicker. You need to adjust the detonation timing for your warheads, sir. that the warhead embedded, then detonated and launched the fragments to go faster. Where are the fragments heading? Um, I don't know. I... Well, find out! I'm not. Should we detonate now? Yes, blast that thing. No, if you do, you'll destroy the other missiles. And there won't be a chance to stop the main asteroid. Major. Switching to US camera. Adjusting for recalibrated acceleration. T minus 30 seconds to detonation. Living God, our refuge and strength. Even the wind and sea obey your voice. Put the wind back in its place and say to the sea, peace. vicinity of Hong Kong, Guangzhou, I think, I'm not sure yet. When you make sure, sir, you make triple sure. General Directive, all Chinese submarines will monitor American craft within 500 miles of the South China Sea. All right, here we go. <sighs> all right. Scientists and government agencies of an asteroid heading directly for the Earth. It has been said. Nice and easy. Yep. Oh, jeez, this is heavy. Careful. Oh, I got it, I got it. It's loose. Yep. Here it comes. 
Here it comes. All right, Gunny, I'm gonna need you to catch it, all right? Get it, get it, get it. Yep, yep. Oh. Lift, lift, lift. All right, I got it, I got it. <laughs> it's a boy, fellas, it's a boy. Oh. Yep. Private! Help them carry this out, we're gonna load it up. U.S., Chinese, and Russian government. Carefully, carefully. Always knows that I'm not doing nothing, just kicking it back, nothing on my plate. Can I get a second, fellas? Of course. Thank you. Terry, believe me when I say this is not a good time. There's some sort of explosion. And they don't know what it was, but they found something. But you gotta get out of there. Look, I'm not one of your sailors. You can't just order me around. Yeah, that's right. I am doing that, Professor. Things are gonna get bad. All right, so cut the crap and do what I tell you. I love you. All right, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. I love you too. All right, watch that ass. Who was that, sir? Doesn't matter. So, what bad news do you want? Because I got a lot of it. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Careful, guys. All right, remember, we're not out of the clear yet, all right? Sir, uh, General, I, I need to show you something. Um, the smaller fragment would hit Earth in about 15 hours. The larger one, maybe two hours and 32 minutes later. That one's a planet killer, about 34 miles wide. So you're saying by not detonating early and stopping the fragments, I sped up Armageddon? No, uh, you wouldn't miss a larger fragment anyways. Uh, you did, however, speed up the uh, annihilation of southern China. Uh, but the good news is, is that the main asteroid is deflecting its trajectory meaning the Earth will miss it. Uh, if it can Thank withstand you. I've heard enough, son. You don't have a lot of experience with good news, do you? Major, alert the crew of the Pulk. They've got 77 hours less than originally planned to accomplish their mission. Yes, sir. Thank you. Telly. Uh, yeah. Marie? Hello, darling. Well, it's way beyond what we can even imagine. Sir, we have an ELF message coming in. Sir, orders over the ELF. What is it, sir? It's worse. The interdiction not only failed, a small fragment's going to wipe out Hong Kong in 15 hours. Two and a half hours after that, Another chunk is gonna wipe out all life on the planet. That's three days early. All right, let's start by widening up these frequencies. Start on the UHF, man. Less. Comms, how you doing on that signal? I believe I can trigger the countdown, sir. I have the right bandwidth, and I can amplify our signal wide enough to reach the different part of the trench. I just have no way of knowing if it actually worked. There's no mechanism in place for me to receive acknowledgement that the trigger actually triggered the countdown. Wait a minute, I, I can tell you whether or not the signal worked. I've got a camera feed on the HROV. It, it can be manipulated to see a countdown if there is one. I just have to find the damn thing first. It's working and responsive. It just doesn't have a homing device on it. Never expected to lose the thing. I'm searching every square acre to find it right now. charge of the Navy for the People's Republic of China. Thank you for your concern, but I will remain at my post. 
That's what I thought. Godspeed, Admiral. Please, Shuji. Come on.发给所有船队，现在这个时刻有严重的危险，我们在下十四个小时可能会失去广州以及全部船艇的联系。你的带领是保护中国的独立以及领土，口号潘劳大蛇行动，现在正在实行，直到下一步的命令。中国南海海军
What's going on? Someone uh, needs to procure a boat. We can't be on this island without access to base. I can send one of them to do it, sir. I can we go. Need, Let we me need go. Something with the winch, trawler, something to assist with the recovery of the warheads. And our men, sir. You and uh, your men. You'll hike. You'll hike down the cliff, okay? Set up position at the breakwater when you see the SUV crash site. I'll pick you up in whatever I procure, okay? Maintain radio silence, Gunny. Yes, sir. All right, guys, let's go. Send out a message over the ELF transmitter to the POC. Alert them to the destruction of Hong Kong and the Chinese Admiralty. Warn them to keep an ear open for potential unfriendlies. Yes, sir. We didn't exactly get an Admiral Say's okay to irradiate waters off the South China Sea. Sonar. Yes, sir. Any way you can keep an ear out for company, maybe use a filter to minimize the noise. Yes, sir, I'll try. What is it? Small asteroid wiped out Hong Kong, Guangzhou, and all of southern China. Taking with it their South Sea Naval Command. We're supposed to be keeping an ear out for any of our friends who think us blowing up nukes on their doorsteps might be an unfriendly gesture. How are we doing this, Knox? Well, the programming is mapped and loaded. It knows which way to go, and it can get there in plenty of time. Can I say one drink? I'll buy you a bar when we get on top of the waves. Thank you. Comms, let's try that signal, see if we can trigger the warheads. Transmission sync, Captain. Captain, torpedoes in the water. Multiple signals, I think. I can't make bearings, but they're close. Chief Cobb, drop us. Nav, down 20 degrees. Dive. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, skipper, down 20 degrees. Can you see the countdown? Did it work? I'm trying. Initiating dive, Captain. Got it. It's working. Launch a sub now. Out. If we keep diving, the whole crush. Yes, sir. Up bubble, 30 degrees. Navigation shot, sir. Propellers, the whole electrical system's fried. Damn it. Even the life support and reactor cooling systems are down, sir. Understood. We can still float, can't we? Pressurize the forward ballast. Aye, sir. Cops, give me bull nuke EDEA. And now we haven't got much time. Yes, sir. Oh, God, I love my kid. Somebody! You can do this with me. Come on. You can do this, Rudy.
Engineering. Sir, that monster's reporting in. Patch him through. Yes, sir. Sir, you're connected. Lieutenant Rouse, this is the XO. Captain Rogers is dead. I'm the acting captain. Engine bull nuke are dead too, sir. That makes me acting nuke engine. I can't even make popcorn in a microwave. Captain, the hull is breached. A gang sealed it off, but the reactor bulkhead won't hold. What the hell is that? Sonar. This is Morse code, sir. R, F, A, C, E, O, R, D, I, E. Surface or die, Cobb. A zero bubble for now. But if we keep taking on water without the power to pump it out, you're saying our two choices are to sink or let our anonymous friends blow us up. Well, we can't surface even if we want to. And either way, we fail to deliver the second round of nukes into the trench. And this is still Captain Rogers' command, and that's not the way he's going out. Rouse, you said all the breaches were aft? Cobb. What's the integrity of the forward hull? Sound and water tight, sir. Seals are holding it midship. Nine minutes, sir. Rouse, you're gonna love this one. We're blasting this ship in two. We're rigging one pound charges at 18 inch intervals around the entire hull. Excellent. And I'm riding the aft section into the trench. Sir, I appreciate the offer, Lieutenant, but that's not happening. It's my fault the wells gave away. No, it's not. And I'm sorry about all that back at Palau. It's my fault the Chinese found us, and it's my fault the captain's dead. That's insane, Lieutenant. Stand down! Ah! Ma'am. Stu! You don't have to do this. What's the matter anyway? We're all gonna go when these things blow. I never liked you much anyway, Lieutenant. Feeling was mutual, sir. All right. On my mark, I will initiate the countdown sequence on the warheads. Is everyone ready? Yes, sir. sir. Mark, go. Get to the bridge and buckle in. Catch me through the ship. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. On board the USS Polk. This is the executive officer. With the passing of Captain Rogers, I will be assuming all duties and responsibilities as commanding officer on board the USS Polk. In 60 seconds, we'll be blasting the Polk in half. Everyone to four ready stations now. This is your commanding officer over and out. Comms? Sounding general quarters, Captain.
Bastards are early. Well, the boat. Rouse. Dead man can charge us. And Stu. See you on the other side. Anchors away. Attention, son. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Mom? Mom, Terry, Terry, tell my mom I love her, okay? All right, I gotta go. It's a pleasant surprise to see you, sir. Stand him aside for sore eyes, Luis. You didn't think I'd come back? Let's just say I was worried you'd get a better offer, sir. No. Understood. Speaking of better offers, sounds like you got through. We kept trying, but weren't able to. Too much metal interference. Actually, I did, Gunny. I was speaking uh, <clears throat> with Terry. He teaches philosophy in Chicago. You know, with everything that's going on. Lieutenant, we know. Let's get back to work. Honey. All right, Marines, let's get these warheads out of the drink. Twenty six hundred feet below sea level and climbing, sir. Forty five seconds until the detonation of the aft section. Eleven minutes until the HROV blows. Hang in there, everyone. It won't be long now. Twenty two hundred feet. Two thousand feet. 30 seconds? 1,800 feet. You're all amazing. Captain Rogers will be proud of each and every one of you. 1,500 feet. 20 seconds. Cop. Well, for half a boat, Skipper, I'd say we're pretty good. Five seconds to detonation. Thank you, Marissa. What happened? I don't know. Maybe the hole couldn't take it, sir. The bottom of Yap Trench is miles below crushed depth. Even straight out of dry dock, the hole couldn't handle that kind of pressure. Is there any chance that one blast could reach the core? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe my calculations were all wrong. What's that noise? Could it be the warhead? Anything on the Geiger counter? Negative. Oh, we wouldn't have time to wonder if it was the warhead. How long ago was Hong Kong hit by the asteroid fragment? About two hours ago, according to the last report. Get back to your seat! of the asteroid fragment hitting Hong Kong. It caused a tidal wave two hours ago, but it just got here. Oh, jeez. Nav, where are we? Can't make it out, sir. GPS isn't making sense. Cobb, what's our velocity? <sighs> Can't see, you, sir. How long till the HROV detonation? Now!
Navigator, any idea where we are? Sorry, Captain. We've been in the dark without Sonara, and now all of the digital systems are shot. Cobb, what about that Geiger counter? It's working, sir, but it's not picking anything up. We must have been blown clear. Comms, your system's working? One minute, sir. I think I can feed our Marine Band VHF up through our SSI access system. Now, the system's only blown on our side. So if I can feed it up through our UHF SATCOM, we'll be back in business. Do so and get me Keck Observatory. USS Polk for Keck Observatory, come in. Okay. Sir, I got him, he's on the UHF band. General, it's Chase Seward aboard the Polk. He's the acting captain now. Rogers is dead. General, it's the Polk. You have to take this. This is the first picture. This is General Masterson. Sir, we detonated one series of warheads in the trench. Was it enough? No, it was insufficient. Only registered 16 on the Richter. But does that intern have any ideas? The boy is dead, Commander. Commander, there's got to be something else we can try. Maybe the Strategic Air Command can detonate more nukes along the Pacific? Saipan Volcano! Saipan Volcano General, if we place one of the nukes that are still in Palau into the cone of the Saipan Volcano, we would have punctured the protruding crust of the trench and placed it directly towards the core. Proceed. You have my permission. Yes, sir. Thank you. That could work. Ready? Ready, men. This is Marzak. Chase, is that you? Rudy? You're not gonna like what I have to tell you. <sighs> About the asteroid? How you doing with that? I kinda figured you'd be 30,000 feet and climbing by now. Well, that was the plan, but there's a new plan now, and there's not much time to make it happen. You still have those packages. You're not gonna like what happened with your packages. I got four, four still in the drink. We lost three good men. I'm trying to protect that payload. Well, I'm sorry about that. Rouse, Rogers, and all of engineering didn't make it down here either. And you're not gonna like what's left of your submarine. I'm gonna put you on with Miss Marissa Knox here. Can I pick him? Oh, can I pick him? Hey, what's she doing? Saving the world, sport. Hey, Rudy, you remember me? Now, was he as dull as I warned you he'd be? Much, much worse. So, Rudy, this is what I need you to do. You need to deliver at least one of those nukes into the cone of the Saipan volcano. Do you hear me? Is there anything else you need? Pizza? Round trip plane tickets? Yeah, you gotta do it in the next 49 minutes or the world's gonna end. Copy that. One-way tickets. Tell Chase, sir. Uh... It's been an honor to serve with him as his wingman, but he's gonna have to find a new recruit. Thanks for everything. You got a change of plans. What change of plans? You got to detonate these nukes. The Saipan Island volcano. Saipan? Are you serious? That's right. Sir, you do know the war of Saipan never ended. That is true. The last Imperial soldiers were not captured until 1951, six years after we dropped the bomb. So many Japanese held out for so long, the island is still one big booby trap. So let me get this straight. We're supposed to cross a battlefield covered with 70-year-old munitions, climb up a volcano, and drop a bomb. Hoorah, Marine. Hoorah. Well, sir, let's do it. We have enough power to initiate a launch sequence, just barely. Okay. I want you to get the coordinates from Keck. Come up with a firing solution in case Rudy. 
case we need a backup plan. these nukes in a natural trench. Let's go. So move carefully. Pay attention. Everyone, I need you to clear the bridge, please. You heard the captain. Sir. 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 Thank you. God bless you, ma'am. It's been an honor, Skip. The honor was mine. Maybe you're right. Maybe none of it. 
that's worth it. But what is worth it is the commitment that we put into each other to do the little things. That's what counts. That's what makes a world of difference. It's our job. So I guess that makes me dull, huh? Is that you? Who else would be calling? I'll see you on the other side. Rudy! Rudy! shake in the heart of the sea. Though its waters rage and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult, the God of Jacob is our refuge. <laughs> 